So I try not to talk about nutrition too much on this channel. Not because I don't think I have the knowledge appropriate to talk about it, but because for me, it's just one of the most charged topics. And I don't want to upset people or anger people by simply giving my opinion on what I think is right to eat and what's not right to eat. There's so much research out there that contradicts things. And of course, there's things like the ecological effects and uh, animal rights and all the rest of it that come into it. So I tend to steer away from it where possible, but I noticed something very dramatic in myself. So I'm simply sharing today my personal experience. This isn't an attack on anyone's way of eating. This isn't me trying to bash certain food groups. I'm just sharing an experience and maybe for some of you it it strikes a light bulb and it helps you out. So uh, let's keep it cool in the comment section, any of you that get involved in this one. I don't know if you saw some videos I did a few weeks ago. I'll try and post a bit of a clip of one, but my skin was terrible. Now, I am not one for having much of a skincare routine as it was. Uh, I wash my face, I apply a little bit of moisturizer when I remember, but that's about as far as we go. But you've seen these videos that I made that week is I had a full on breakout, massive spots everywhere, red patches on my cheeks, uh, black heads all around my head. I've still got uh, a fair few, but it was it was quite dramatic. And the, the thing about making these videos is you can't help but notice these things an awful lot more. I'm not one for staring in the mirror very much, but when you're looking in a camera and then on a screen whilst you're editing videos, you can't help but notice that something was going on. And I tried to look back and correlate it to any changes that I had and whether or not it was just simply a breakout or if I had introduced or removed anything that might have been affecting it. Now, recently I have gone off of dairy. It was originally down to being lactose intolerant. Uh, I don't digest it well. And I went originally to lacto-free dairy products, milk, etc., uh, but my wife brought home oat milk and I tried it in my tea and in my coffee. And I thought, you know what, for a couple of weeks, I'm going to go fully dairy free, purely as an experiment. Now, on this fully dairy free diet, I felt great. Everything was absolutely fine. And after that, I decided to switch back onto the dairy. And it was on switching back to the dairy that I had this breakout in my face. And when I thought about it, when I came off of the dairy, not only did my face seem to clear up, but also spots on my back and on my shoulder. I've got a couple of uh, what would be referred to as sebaceous cysts. Uh, they're harmless cysts, but I get them like here on my chest. Completely, for lack of a better word, deflated. And my skin was looking great. And then I went back on the dairy and I had this massive breakout. And now I've come back off of it and... I'd like to say my skin has cleared up again. So I clearly have a very strong response to dairy. And regardless of lactose intolerance or anything else, it doesn't sit well with me. Now, again, I'm not sitting here telling you that dairy is bad. I know a lot of people who consume dairy every single day and don't appear to have any issues whatsoever. They have no issue digesting it in their stomach. They don't seem to have any adverse effects in terms of skin conditions. Again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a professional. I'm just telling you my personal experience. So if you are dealing with adult acne or anything like that, maybe this is something that you could give a go for a few weeks. For me, although YouTube and the internet is great for asking questions, the, the best way to figure stuff out is to just experiment with yourself. And the greatest way to do that is to do two week, four weeks, six weeks experiments with different things. Do a four week workout and see how your body adapts and changes. Do a four week diet. But by diet, I mean a lifestyle change in the way that you look at food and what you consume. And start to become sensitive to how little changes in your life affect you in different ways. Because by deal, developing this personal sensitivity to yourself, you, I think you're able to kind of refine what works for you on a personal level. 
And then it's not, it, it stops becoming about what is the best diet? What is the healthiest way of eating? Because we're all so different. And I think the reality of it is, is that question is not as black and white as some people would like to think that it is. And I think the best thing for everyone to do is to experiment with themselves and figure out what works best for them. So the reason I'd even bring any of this up on this channel is because if we're trying to be the best version of ourselves and we're trying to live the most happy, fulfilled lives, nutrition is a huge part of that. It's where we get our energy from. It has a massive effect on the composition of our bodies and how we look. It massively affects how we're going to age and how we're going to have vitality in our later years in life. So to, to think that it's not related to your personal development, I would say is ignorant. Uh, I will do the occasional video on it, but I'm never going to sit here and tell you this is good and this is bad, this is right and this is wrong. The only thing that I've ever said in terms of nutrition that I believe everyone would agree with is we should all be drinking more water and working on staying more hydrated. But other than that, this is my personal experience with consuming dairy and maybe you want to take that away. One thing I will say if you are going to drop dairy is be really aware of how difficult it is to get calcium in your diet without it. I've looked at the food groups that have it and it's very, very minimal and it's not in very strong doses. So for me, I've started supplementing with calcium citrate and I'm going to put it up here in case I've said that completely wrong. Uh, there are two different types of calcium supplements and I believe the other one is calcium carbonate and again I'll put it here in case I was wrong. Uh, one of them apparently the other one to the one I'm consuming provides a lot of issues with things like kidney stones and stuff like that so if you can avoid it avoid it and go for this style. I mix it in with some juice in the morning and then it kind of covers me for the rest of the day. Guys I'll leave it there and as always take care of yourself. <laughs>